We're out here at Sailorville Lake where many Iowa firefighters are getting a one-of-a-kind training experience thanks to a partnership with the military. And it's happening on the water. It was a unique training session for both parties. We've never done any training like this before uh, in our lives. Soldiers want to do fun things, and this is a part of that. The U.S. Army Reserves assisted several Iowa Fire Departments in a search and rescue training on Saturday. Members of the Reserves jumped out of military aircraft to allow the Fire Departments to practice their rescue procedures. When we enter the water, they'll practice their rescue capabilities to pull us into the boats, get us back to shore. But in reality, from the Army standpoint, it's for us to exit the aircraft quickly, efficiently, get us in the water with all of our gear. Fire Departments from Des Moines, Ankeny, Johnston, Grimes, and Council Bluffs participated in the drill. Bob Suarez from DMFD says it was a productive meeting for the department. So it's a great opportunity for us again to shake hands, to uh, operate with uh, the other departments, see what equipment they bring to the party, uh, what techniques they're using, and uh, just get better at what we do. The training also serves as a great recruiting tool for the agencies. A lot of the, this is what you can do in the Army, doesn't always happen once the soldiers actually get to the units. Right. So the command leadership of those units really have to engage and to actually make this training happen. Getting the responders' hands on work that's rarely done anywhere else. This is something out of the box that really hasn't been done outside of competitions. The fire departments say they planned on making 8 to 10 simulation flights to get plenty of practice on the water. At Sailorville Lake, Ethan Humble, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.